Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt from Exo Racing, and today we're going to show you why you need a V band. So we're going to run over what a V band does, but firstly, we have Scott. Hello, guys. We got Scott down here, and we've got his lovely concerto. And we're going to show you what a V band is, why he uses it on his, and all the reasons you need one. So I'm just going to show you a quick unboxing of these, and just show you how they come apart. So we already took this one out of the package earlier. So you got the V band clamp on the outside. Um, with the flanges in the center and it is literally one nut to undo them nice and easy uh, v-bands come out clamp comes out so the you can see on there they are one's a male and one's a female on both the flanges and they go together and literally just align so you don't need a gasket or anything and they literally bolt straight together um, the v shape that's in there the v profile will sit against the two flanges and when you tighten the clamp down, it compresses these together um, and nothing leaks through them. Especially when you've got like the male seal inside as well, it just means that you don't get any gas leak or anything out of it. So putting them together, incredibly easy. Um, after these are both welded on either end to like the pipe or wherever you want them to, um, they'll be together, put the clamp around the outside, lock them in place, put the nut on and you are done. That is it. <sighs> Come on, little clamp. There go on there. And then the tighter this goes, the tighter the V shape will pull itself in and clamp them all together. Um, you can also, if you're struggling to get the clamp on, this bit comes out. So you can spin them out, um, just literally open the clamp up, put it around it, flip those back in, tighten it back up, and then you're good to go. So another great reason to use these is the fact they're reusable. Um, we've had these in our car for years and years and years. Um, you don't need gaskets, you don't need anything else with them, and yeah, they are easy. They don't break unless you hit them on something, but other than that, they're good. So whilst we're here, we're going to have a look under Scott's car. He's got V-bands all the way under the exhaust, um, pretty much all the way back. He's got one here, one at the back. Um, great for the downpipe because firstly you can spin the clamps 360 degrees so when you're trying to fit the downpipe you don't need to get it at the absolute perfect angle um, and the clamps go together once you pull the clamp in and start bowing it up it will kind of pull itself together um, also way more quick release as well and obviously like i said a minute ago the bolts don't rust so like on here um, great place to have it and you can just split bits off especially if you're running like a decal or something where you need to take it like on and off the track things like that um, you can just split them whenever you need to and you can put different pipes up. Um, basically, they're just an easier, quicker release version of running conventional flanges. And also, they're not even that expensive for what they are. Um, the self-aligning ones are a bit more expensive, but again, for fitting stuff like this, it's great. And I mean, you've used them for years, right? Yeah, on all my turbo builds, I've used them. Mm -hmm. and they've never really let me down. Again, sometimes the bolts can, if, you do, if you're not maintaining it nicely, and obviously this one's getting a bit of dirt in there, but mm -hmm. they can shear off sometimes, but yeah. that's only if you're like gunning them up really, mm -hmm. but always hand tighten them up with the ratchet yeah, or something. Yeah. Don't use a gun. No. I know everybody does. We all do it. <laughs> We're all guilty for it. <laughs> for sure. But, <clears throat> but yeah, that's the, only other, that's the only thing really on these, but other than that, they're bulletproof. Mm -hmm. I guess the other thing is trying to make, make sure it's in the right location because if you have the bolt pointing downwards, yeah. um, more than likely to hit it on like rocks or anything else underneath. So making sure it's aligned correctly and like the flanges are correctly round is the best place to have it as well. Yeah. Um, just to kind of avoid issues. But yeah, as a whole, like V-bands are great and we've been selling them for years and they oh, they just make the build so much easier. So on the installation side of these, when you're gonna go and weld the flanges together, make sure that you put the clamp on it because I've seen a couple of times where people are welding They'll just have a single flange on a pipe and on the other side weld them and they end up warping. So the best thing to do if you can is to clamp them together and then weld them with the clamp on. Um, it just stops any of the materials welding. I mean, these are stainless steel. They're three or four stainless. So generally they're quite strong, but they can still warp, especially with the amount of heat that goes through them. So when you're welding them, just make sure that they are clamped together and or you at least have some sort of jig holding it in place so they don't warp. So if you want to buy your own V-bands, uh, click the link in the description below and you can go to the website. We've got loads of different sizes and yeah, go from there. 